Welcome back to another video. I'm your nerdy bearded buddy, and today we are ranking the Bad Boys movies. And why? Well, because Bad Boys Ride or Die, the fourth installment in the franchise, is set to release on the 7th of June this year. So I thought to prepare and get in the mood for Bad Boys, let's rank the movies. Before I begin, this is my list. This is not the correct list or the be all end all for lists. I want to see your lists down in the comments below. Let me know. But yeah, so this ranking was quite hard for me because I love bad boys. Like, I love all of the movies so far. I don't dislike any of them. I think they're all great movies and I love them all. Like, I don't dislike a single bad boys movie. So this list will be least favorite to my favorite. Coming in third place bad boys this is where it all began i love this movie and it's such a time capsule to see this again in the modern day because this was will smith really starting his action movie star career along with michael bay in his directing career this movie is really good don't get me wrong it's just not as funny to me as the other two films this is a strong movie and it's a great first movie in the franchise. Now, this is gonna get some attention. Second place, Bad Boys 2. This film had the best, most ridiculous shenanigans happening. It was super over the top and probably the most over the top in the whole franchise so far. The whole film is just a big bunch of silly fun. It's very quotable and there are some really funny moments and scenes that stick out even all these years later, and you see him all over the internet. Like for instance, the morgue scene, Reggie's introduction, that was hilarious. It's just outrageous and hilarious and full of great, spectacular action scenes. This, if you were to, you know, ask about a movie recommendation, like an action movie in the genre, this would be a top pick. And in first place, Bad Boys for Life. I know, right? Crazy. Anyway, this was very hard for me to put in first place, and I feel the only reason it is first is because it has the best chemistry between Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. I also feel the jokes to be the funniest here too. The story, other than spoilers, the captain's death, was also my favourite out of the three films. This has some pretty great twists that I underestimated about the franchise making, like it did it, and I was shocked. It plays on the fact that... Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are older, and it has lots of fun with this aspect too. Almost like it's self-aware. I also loved how they kept Reggie in the film too, and made him a marine or soldier, which makes me think, is he going to help? Like, could he potentially help them? Because if he's trained how to fight, could he help them in future movies? I feel like if it weren't for the comedy and the strong writing in this, this may have been in second place. However, in terms of the action, this is not as over the top as the second film with the scenarios and action, but it was still pretty fun and entertaining. Okay, so that is Bad Boys Ranked. What did you think of the list? Let me know down in the comments. What does your list look like? I love these films so much, and I'm super excited for Bad Boys Ride or Die. I'm hoping the fourth installment will be just as good. Anyway, guys, that's it for another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this around. I'll see you in the next video.